Hey folks, Aaron here from Aaron's Practical Reviews. I'm out here at a lake today, all by myself. And it's nice windy, chilly day, which means we have some pretty nice waves, which gives me a good opportunity to uh, make some videos on uh, time lapse. So I want to go over a quick tutorial uh, on how to do time, how to, you know, make a time lapse video. On, I'm going to be using the 6D Mark II. You can use this on any Canon camera, and I'll also be using the 90D. And again, these settings are going to be similar across the board on all cameras. So if you have the T7i or an entry level, this will work on there as well. So this is the 90D. On the 90D, the first thing you have to do is make sure that the camera is set into the video mode. And once you're in video mode, you hit menu. On the very first tab, you'll look down here and it'll say time lapse movie disable. Now the disable is the default setting. So we're going to open this up and we are going to enable any of these to start. Now the difference between the 90D, the 6D Mark II and the T7i, the other two cameras I own, is that the 90D offers these scenes. And each scene kind of gives you an idea of what it's what it's good for. Shooting moving objects such as walking people, slowly changing, as you can read down there. Now, I personally like to go to custom, and I'll show you why here. If you go in here, you'll see it has presets, intervals, and shots. Three seconds for 300 frames, and you're going to get 10 seconds of footage. So if you go back, and let's look at scene two five seconds to 40 for eight seconds of footage so as you can see here it just changes the intervals and the times to kind of alter the speed that the time lapse is moving now what i typically like to use for the ones that you're seeing here are the two second intervals so for intervals i will change it here Well, it's set to there. So what I have to do, I actually have to back out. And I have to change the time lapse from scene two to custom. Now in custom, now I can set it up the way I like it. Like I said, I like two second. 500 shots will give you 16 seconds of footage. Okay, so we're going to stay on that. Now let's scroll down. Movie recording size. Whoop. Let's go back. Movie recording size. I'm using 4K. Now these are my setups. You can use either 4K or full HD. Auto exposure, fixed first frame or each frame. That's if you wanted to alter the exposure of every shot. I stay fixed first frame typically because I want that shadow to add the effect of time passing if there is changes in light personal preference and then screen auto off I enable that because I want this screen to turn off as it's going so it doesn't kill the battery and then the last thing I'll do is down here at the very bottom beep as image is taking taken I disable that because I don't want it beeping every two seconds for 500 times so okay so now to initiate the actual footage first you're gonna maintain your focal by pushing the shutter take a picture now you're going to push this see it says test and set exposure settings on this fully press that to take a test shot which i just did then press start and get the shot ready so then you're going to hold this in and as you're holding in the this button you're going to push the shutter again and there now it's initiated it's going to blink a couple times the screen will go off and it's got a counter right up top here now let me show you that so this is the counter and as you can see there it is counting 481 480 it's counting down if you want to check the progress of how far along you are these are the basic setups I've got here for this footage that you're gonna see right here